Hey, okay. Here's my thoughts on the walk today. I'm back in my neighborhood. <sighs> um, today's thoughts basically. Eh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to stay in my wheelhouse. <sighs> my wheelhouse is uh, drumming. Uh, I've been running to a lot of stuff on YouTube and you know drumming is 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 a lot of people think it's hard and I gotta say you know I gotta take that back is it is hard it's hard to learn the coordination between the four limbs and once you learn the secret of that which is basically getting your brain to separate those four limbs more than you know to separate those four limbs then you can go on to another thing you know then drumming doesn't seem to be that hard uh drumming consists now as a drummer I, I was telling my friends who know me that I know I'm a drummer I am at that point now I am a drummer. I, you can put on any song. I can either play that part, I can play against that part, or I can make up a part based on what I know. You know, the techniques that I have learned. So, master, I ain't gonna use the word master yet, but master them, that's the next level. My next level now is the try to get me to play I guess it's say let's play better let's play better but more like a little find my find my music that I like to do which I like a lot I like a lot of stuff just find my music that I like to do and play it and go on from there you know yeah. which is say yeah. This is a lifelong situation. Music is a lifelong learning situation. You take it to the grave. Bing, bang, boom. Basically, that's what it is. Another thing that um, I came across, you know, I, I was watching some videos. <clears throat> and it seems like drummers don't, I can't say they don't know, they know. Drummers know. So, but they just they just talk all over the place. There's three things that a drummer and I got this from Rest in Peace, John Blackwell. And he said that he got three spots that he that he concerned himself with when he played with anybody. When he was with Prince and when he was with um I forget the gospel artist. He says, I got the groove. I got the groove of the song, I got the solo, and I got the end. Those three areas is where a drummer is. All that stuff you learned, all that stuff you put down, all that stuff you worked on, those are your three spots to make it happen. That's, that's basically it. There is no more. I don't, if somebody disagree with me, you, go, you can go ahead. But those three spots, very important. If you break them down, he's absolutely right. You break them down, he's absolutely right. Because those three spots are important. Holding the groove down. When it comes down to solo, that's when it's the time to shine. And at the end, make the solo song. And those three things, those three spots is it. Once you get to those three spots, it's done. So, uh, and that's what, you know, a lot of drummers, you know, I said get confused, but a lot of drummers say, huh, there's so many other, no, that's it. Learn those three things. Nothing came up on, somebody said, 
you know, I don't have musical theory, um, but I want to learn how to play. And what is what, what should I do? A lot of people chimed in. Oh, Lord, everybody chimed in. We're basically the same thing. If, if, if everybody looks at what a drummer does, they'll see that we all say the same things. We all do the same thing. And that's it. So I told the brother, he didn't know me. I said, I said, I'm feeling encouraged, man. I said, this is what you have to do. This is what I did. Matter of fact, I tell him what I did. This is what I did. Let me show you how much time I This is what I did. When I was a young kid, Buddy Rich was the name. I don't care what anybody tells me, Buddy Rich was the name that transcended down to me. Because I had my TV set. I was, I was lucky enough to be one of the black kids who had a TV set in their room. Remember that? TV used to go off at 12 o'clock. There was no, there was no late night TV. But it was, and I used to look. But when he came on Johnny Carson, you see how far I go back. And every time he was on Johnny Carson, I looked. That is what I want to do. So I picked him out as the drummer I went for. And I really picked him out for uh, technique, style. You know, he was playing jazz, or I like jazz. So, okay. Seeing the way he played, I was like, yo, this guy is off the chain. But that was the encouragement. That was the inspiration. For the years, Buddy Rich was my go-to guy. Years. But he was sure my go-to guy. And I based everything around what he was doing. Now, as years go on, as years go on, you find other guys that fit the niche that you're trying to do. And that's what I told the guy, make a long story short, that's what I told the guy on the Facebook page. He said, pick out your person. You study him. That's it. Once you got what you need from him, you move on to something else. You make sure you get the basics out. And I said, well, the three basic rudiments, single stroke roll, double stroke roll, single power grip. That's it. You know, the other 40 some odd rudiments will come in later on. That's it. That's it. And I just, and I, 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 I commended him. Gave him some encouragement. And said, hey, because I can't, you know, my way is not, my way is not the highway. My way is my way. It's one of the streets. This business is hard as it is. And it's gotten harder. That's why I look at drumming now. It's, a, it's more like a hobby. When it used to be, you know, you can get in it as a musician. You can make money at it, but you gotta play the games. And the games, some of the games in the music business is tough. You know, being a neighborhood drummer, I can tell you some stories. But it's a very cliquish, you know, I know who you know that you thought I knew. <laughs> One of those type of things. And and that's basically about it. So, as for drumming, this thoughts on the walk is just clear about that. And uh, about how I didn't go on, this, that, and the other. So, this is my third time, my second time around the block. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing again. I, I, I'm going, no, I'm going to do the same thing again. And I might have to do three times. I do four times and see what the four times is. Cause I got, I got, I'm talking here on the thoughts on the walk. See what's going on. But uh, 
Life is, life is going on. Walking too, huh? <laughs> and, uh, okay. People are not friendly. That's a bad thing. People are not friendly. And, um, so, uh, what is it? I guess you got 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, I've been walking, talking 10 minutes. Okay. Um, let me write it. I'm happy that, uh, we do this. I think this is going to probably be one of the last ones. I actually, the last one. I'm not going to do one of these until I come back. <laughs>